Well, first out 11, a heated police audit committee meeting in Canton as several cases within the town are now in the national spotlight. The committee is having a tough time nailing down a firm to conduct the audit. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Priscilla Casper. Glenn has the night off. Only our NBC 10's Jericho Tran was inside that meeting tonight. She's joining us live from Canton Town Hall with the details on a pretty fiery discussion, Jericho. Priscilla, fiery is an understatement. Tensions were running extremely high during this meeting. Members of the police audit committee disagreed with each other openly and very passionately. That in turn trickled down to attendees who then tried to voice their concerns and resulted in some of them getting escorted out by police. This is a disruption to the committee. Just the same way. What is your next question? He's here to intimidate me. A tumultuous meeting here in Canton. You're an embarrassment, and you're not safe for this town right now either. With a divided police audit committee. You don't have a degree as a lawyer. That's what I said, and that's what I meant. Did you misunderstand me? Is Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chair, Chair, this is not like a way to talk to people. And fired up community members. I'm tired of this. We come here. Let's go and we try to work with you, and all you're doing is yelling at people. Resulting in police escorting attendees out. I'm going to honor your request, and I'm going to leave the meeting as you requested. I'm doing this for them, for this town. You don't care about this town. You only care about Randy Scott. With the trial of Karen Reed and the case of Sandra Birchmore drawing attention to the Canton Police Department. Canton has become nationally known for its lack of transparency. Community concerns continue to grow. We, the people and taxpayers, demand transparency yeah. and answers. Last year, the town voted in a special election to launch an independent audit of the Canton Police Department after backlash from how the department handled the January 2022 investigation into the death of Boston Police Officer. John O'Keefe. I think that this meeting was an absolute clown show and uh, the person in charge should be removed. No, I'm not going to step down. The police audit committee comprised of five members sat down tonight to discuss the scope of services to help the town decide on a firm to conduct the audit. Some hot button issues discussed include the duration and price of the audit. Any audit company would be hard pressed to get it done for under 200000 and under five months. Leaving committee members doubtful they'll find a firm to complete the audit. Audit. At this point, I'm not sure we're going to have anybody come in and be able to do it. Some heated moments there, to say the least. Now, bids need to be in by the end of the month. I spoke to committee members, and they say they hope to get a firm and start that audit by November. In Canton, Jericho Tran, NBC10 Boston.